Hi guys, welcome to another Swiss knife tutorial. Today we will go deeper in placeholders group. This group simplifies the work with precomposes, alpha mates, footages, and so on. Let's take a look at the first function placeholders. Well, I have a bunch of imported footages in my composition. I will draw five random rectangles on one shape layer, which I want to make as alpha mate layers for these five footages. First step select the shape layer and press placeholder. It will automatically extract the rectangles on separate layers. Now I'm gonna select all the shapes and footages I want to mask and press placeholders. And as you can see, each footage is now was masked with a rectangle and placed inside separate precompose. What is also cool is that we can easily control the position of the footages inside a container with these controllers, without going inside our precompose. And one more bonus function with modifier here is fast separate precompose. Select all the layers you want to precompose and click on placeholder with Alt key. So that it will create separate precompose for each layer. Pretty fast and useful. Another very interesting and useful function is spinner. We think it's pretty common task, especially when you do some kind of UI animations, to place your footage onto the screen of device. With spinner tool, it is possible to do in really fast way. Just draw a mask or shape with four points around the screen of your device. Now I will turn on the visibility of my composition. Now select the shape layer or mask you have drawn. Press Pinner. Select the composition with your animation and press Apply. And that's it! It perfectly fits our screen. And it's still controllable, just drag these four points to fit the screen perfectly, if something is not perfect enough yet. By the way, below Pinner you can see these three buttons. You can easily flip composition with their help. Let's move further and talk about Switcher. Switcher is a simple tool to make, for example, a lip sync animation. Well, for example, I have these mouth states for each letter, so all I have to do is just select them and press switcher. Now they are all inside precompose, aligned to the center of composition, and using this slider I can switch between these states of the mouth. So that I can easily create mouth animation. Very easy. To be more accurate, slider shows you the number of frames which is going to be displayed. So if you don't know the number of particular state, just go inside the precompose and check its index. Nothing can be easier. Well, let's find out what Alpha Mate makes. It's pretty simple again too. It makes the top layer in selection an Alpha Mate for all other selected layers. So, and as you can see, it has been automatically duplicated for each layer. But if I click on the Alpha Mate with Alt key, uh, the mask layer will jump to each selected layer. And the last thing in this group is Slideshow. I hope it's pretty obvious for you to understand what it does. It makes Slideshow from selected layers, footages, whatever. So just select the layers and click the button Slideshow. And beautiful Slideshow was automatically created. You can play around with its settings, change its direction or orientation of the scroll. You also can play around with the different properties factor, make them rotate or change their scale during the transition. Just play around with its settings to achieve really cool results. And that's all we've got for placeholders group. And thanks for watching and let's go to the last Swiss Knife basic tutorial about support functions group.